So I got my trailer back today. It's all fixed. Um, it's back from the shop. If you watched my previous video, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I was having misfire issues. Uh, the truck was driving really poorly. It was vibrating a lot. I had suspected that it was, uh, um, oh, I pulled the code on the truck and the code on the truck told me there was a misfire on cylinder three. I had suspected it was an ignition coil um, on that cylinder. I decided to not do the work myself just because the truck is in a warranty and I don't want to buy that part and end up being something else. And, and then it just ended up being easier just to have it sent over to the dealership and diagnosed and uh, taken care of. So like I mentioned in the previous video as well, a lot of places are really backed up. Um, there's a labor shortage as you know going on in pretty much the whole um, United States and we're no exception here. So a lot of the local dealers didn't have any availability for two to three weeks to even see my truck and do some uh, uh, diagnostics. But thankfully I found a dealership that was about 15, 20 miles away. They had some availability within a week. So I got in there. Um, they ended up diagnosing the truck. They originally told me there was a bad spark plug on cylinder two. I told them that was weird because I pulled the code and it said cylinder three. Uh, today when I picked it up, I was reading the notes and I think the guy read it wrong because in the diagnostic notes here in the paperwork they gave me, it does say cylinder three. So uh, they said there was a, a crack in the ceramic uh, on that cylinder three spark plug. So it wasn't the ignition coil. So I guess it was maybe a good thing that I didn't buy that because it would have been a, um, a waste. But they went through the diagnostics, which I was kind of talking about in my previous video. They moved the ignition coil to cylinder two. Uh, the problem didn't move with the ignition coil. So then they started checking the spark plugs and when they checked the spark plugs, they found that um, that one was damaged. So not the most interesting thing. Uh, it is a little interesting that they had a spark plug issue on such a new truck. Uh, they typically last pretty long nowadays, but uh, whatever, I'm glad it's fixed. Um, I drove back about 20 miles. I was driving uh, slow, fast. I was giving it a gas, trying to reproduce the issue and I didn't notice any issues or um, kind of misfiring type symptoms. So uh, that's nice to see the check engine light is gone. Uh, they also did the recall work, uh, which was nice. Um, that didn't take too long, but the truck was in the shop about three days and most of that was just waiting for the spark plug. They said they had to get it shipped in from Tennessee. Uh, there was none in the area, so they overnighted that and that's kind of, the truck was pretty much just sitting there waiting for the spark plug. So it's all done, it's all uh, buttoned up, it's nice and taken care of and I plan on getting out in the next couple weeks, doing more videos on that. So make sure to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to comment. Uh, I always like talking to everybody and I'll see you out there.